advised on initial contact. You have information, Victor. Request for tower information, Victor. 1253 Zulu, wind 2408, visibility 10, sky clear below 12000. Temperature 102.2, altimeter 2901. Runway 21, visual approaching use, noted chairman. Runway 3, Papi, high intensity, out of service. Tower out of service, 3.3 nautical miles west, 1,906 feet MSL. 4.1 nautical miles west, 1,845 feet MSL. 5.9 nautical miles east, northeast, 1,713 feet MSL. Hazardous weather information for West Virginia and surrounding. Okay, Victor. Uh, I figure, what do you want to do first? Should we go to Clarksburg or should we go out in the practice area somewhere? I'm for for the check ride type stuff, it'll be a mock cross country, so you'll be going somewhere, then you'll break off pretty much wherever your cross country takes you, and then do maneuvers, so we'll just kind of do it in that order. Okay. So I think we're ready to taxi. All right. We'll go out, do our maneuvers. I'll try and scramble them up from our there you go. tip four. All right, are you ready? I am ready. Okay. Fairmont traffic, Skyhawk 3852 Lima taxiing from the fuel to uh, runway 23, Fairmont. So I guess we, we never, I never do a good job of uh, explaining in these things what we're doing in these videos. So we're uh i have 40 hours now of time and yay and uh so we are going out for a couple of uh kind of mock check rides check ride prep dual instruction lessons with tyler so we're gonna leave here and go work on maneuvers and landings and takeoffs of various types try to do it as if it was how I would do it for real. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, left of center. Hi. Hello. One thing also to note, just for my private pilot check ride, look at the windsock before you go on the runway. Okay. That way you already have in your mind what way you need to put your crosswind correction in because little Tyler and all of his anxiety and excitement didn't do that. Nearly failed his check ride on his oh, first takeoff. man. There was no wind, but the wind sock was actually crooked from the runway, so he wanted me to do that. Uh, even if, yeah, so. I see. You don't have to do it, but. Fairmont traffic. 352 Lima crossing runway 523 Fairmont. You don't have to do it right now. I was just kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. going through my head of that dreadful day. But I will, as if I were taxiing. We're clear on the left. Clear on the right. Okay. He's going to play lead bag, so he's going to expect you to, yeah, he's a passenger, but he's not going to, like, clear the runway with you and that kind of thing. Gotcha. He's going to expect you to, yeah. it's single pilot resource management, SRM. Gotcha. So get used to, he'll probably sit there in silence, and if he's quiet, that's usually a good thing. Okay. And if I have to leave him clear runway 523 Fairmont traffic. Um. Uh, to think of other things. There you And take your sweet old time taxi with him. Okay. I'll be nice and uh, slow. Yeah. All right, how's this for a run-up? Good. <clears throat> All right, let's check our uh, our flight contrizzles. Elevator's down. Up your side's down. Elevator comes up. Your side goes up. My side goes down. The elevator goes down. And we have some left rudder and we have some right rudder. Those all feel fine to me. Flight instruments. Put the little airplane there. We set our altimeter already. This is going to be way off, and it is about right. It's about 55-ish. 
in there. Be okay. Uh, elevator trim set for takeoff. All right, let's uh, put the mixture to rich to do this run up right. Check some magneto activity. All right, there's uh, roughly 1,700. Left, about 125 or so. Bit pull your throttle pulled out a little bit, look like it. Right about now. All right, and left. About 100. Okay, back to both. And right. Yeah, those are both good. Back to both. Then we'll uh, check our carb heat. The generator's good. Suction's good. It's a five and a half. There's the drop for carb heat. And then we do like to do this, right? An idle check with carb heat on to make sure the engine keeps running at idle. And it does. Generator light comes on. So we know it's working. The indicator light, that is. Back up to 1,000 RPM. Okay. No pitot heat required. Flaps are up. Yeah, we'll do a normal takeoff. <sighs> Radios are set. Transponders and altitude. Your doors and windows closed and locked. Your seat belts are good. Yes? Yes. All right. Let's so actually do a short field takeoff. Short, field, short field takeoff. So well, I know you know how to normally take off. Okay. So, so in this case, it's uh, no flaps in this airplane. Get out here and get on the brakes. Full power and then uh, rotate. Are you ready? Yep. Fairmont traffic, Skyhawk 3852 Lima taking uh, runway 23. We'll be departing the area to the uh, south, uh, south, southwest. Fairmont traffic. Yeah, we can dump out smokestacks. All right, approach end is clear. Make sure you check this way, too. Don't see anybody. I do see birds off the end of the runway, though. Get it down there. Right over the center of the runway. Okay, now we'll keep an eye on that before we go here. All right, he's dipping off to the left now. All right, let's straighten up the nose wheel here. Okay. So I have my crosswind correction in. It's from the right. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and advance the throttle to full power slowly. Engine looks good to me. You? Good. All right, we're coming off the brakes. Right rudder. Airspeed's alive. There's 50. Five. There's 60. We'll pull it off here. Right rudder, right rudder, right rudder, right rudder, right rudder. Wow. That was, uh, there's that bird. I got the airplane. Your airplane. Elpus ran right into us. All right, you can have the airplane back. Okay, my airplane. Woo! Well, there was all kind of bad things there. Yeah, what happened on your rotation? Well, I'm not, I don't know. It start shot shooting off to the left. What were you looking at when we were going toward the left? Were you looking at the airspeed, or was you? I visible? mean, I, uh, I know. I think I have my eyes outside. I, I just um, I felt like I was stepping on. I kept stepping. Okay, maybe that left brake is sticking or something, but I'm not sure. I didn't. I felt like I was feel. stepping. Okay, I'm just I'm. My feet weren't shadowing. I understand. I was just kind of sitting back. All right, you can. You're clear of obstacles, so you can recover to a VY climb now. Okay. And then you pretend your cross country is taking you to the smokestack. So. Okay. You can go ahead and start turning that way. It's pretty bumpy. I knew it was going to be. This is bumpy. Yeah. To me. Uh, you got some. You got some fun waiting on you. Once you get your license. <laughs>
Even a morning flyer. Yeah, a lot of that is has been early, early. All right, I'm gonna tell them we're leaving. Yeah, go for it. We're departing to the west. Fairmont traffic, Sky 385, two Lima climbing through 2000, off runway 23, departing the area to the west, Fairmont. Up to 3,500. 3,500. And if you want to call Clarksburg to get flight following, you may. Otherwise, I would, uh, it's up to you completely. Okay. But, uh, if we were going to do that. Just say the west practice area at 3,500. That's all you have to say. Okay. Maybe we could. Wouldn't hurt, just traffic, but... I forget depends. which one they use, 19-6? 21-15. <sighs> you could call them on either, he's just going to say, can you come over to 21-15 once you get on? I see. Hello. All right, let's, let's call him. Want to? Sure. Make sure you're trimming for that VY speed. That's good stuff right there. <laughs> Is it though? Yeah. You want that on your check ride day? He'll he'll give you a break. Bam. Clarksburg approach, Skyhawk 385 to Lima, VFR request. What do you say? We're about Skyhawk 385 to Lima, Clarksburg approach, Clarksburg 2999, request. And uh, 385 to Lima, uh, Cessna 172, uh, we're about three and a half miles southwest of Fairmont Airport, we're heading out to the uh, practice area, like a VFR flight following uh, 3,500 feet. I screwed that up so bad. I would like to take that all back and Why? say it again. What'd you mess up? I'll just, I felt all wah wah. 5 Lima, squawk 0135, ident. 0135, ident, 5 2 Lima. Have you ever had the privilege of hitting the ident button? I have, and I make sure it pops out every time. 0135, yeah. ident. Five two Lima radar contact, uh, say seven miles north of Clarksburg. So you climbing out of thirty one hundred. Uh, position and altitude checks uh, three five two Lima. All right, we'll just stay north of the smokestacks in this general area. Okay. Here over Enterprise and Chinston. So. Give me a right turn to north. Right turn to north. Falcon Ops 3852 Lima is at the west practice area north of the stacks, maneuvering at 3,500 Falcon Ops. All right, you're back on calm one, so if they call, you're ready to talk. Thank you. You can level us off at 3,500. All right, let's go into slow flight. Okay. Um, so to do that, I'm just talking to you as my instructor now. To do that, I'm going to bring in car beat, pull the power back. Back up. What do you do before we start? Clearing maneuver? turn. Clearing <laughs> turn every, every time. Go. Every time. Every time. Although we just, I mean, all right. So I'll go left and then right. Is that what we like to do? That sure. 90 do? degrees one way, then 90 the other. Gotcha. 30 degrees of bank. That's easy when you got me on a uh, cardinal heading. <laughs> so I'll just go west and then north again. He may not put you on a cardinal heading. Right. Tell sure. him, hey, I want to either get on a cardinal heading or find something big to point at. 
there. I'm 90 that way. Yeah. I don't see anybody over here. Clear over here. So what's good to say is clear left, front, and right. Okay. Or left, center, and right. However you want to okay. do it. And the goal is the high wing side is the side you want to be looking. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, really that makes sense because you clear it out of your way. Yeah. Roger. Some guys will even go as far before they start a clearing turn. If I'm going to turn to the right, I'll lift my right wing, look up, to look under and then go. Gotcha. But, you know. Okay. Here is north. Okay. Slow so now to enter slow flight, um, I'm going to bring carb heat in and reduce the power while maintaining uh, this this uh, this heading. And we're our target speed for slow flight in this airplane. What do we think we should make that? Like sixty-five. Sixty-five. 60 to 65. Because we don't want any indication of uh, stall. of a stall horn, right? Or right? No indication of a stall. And if you hear it recover from it, he may, yeah. So plus or minus 10 on the heading, plus or minus 100 on altitude, plus or minus, I'm sorry, plus 10 minus a zero on airspeed, or plus five minus zero is one of the two. All the numbers start running together. Yeah, there's a lot of. Uh, so don't forget your. Flappers. Oh, we do. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, in any case of slow flight, right? He could. Yeah, I would ask him dirty or clean. I would assume dirty, though, typically. Okay. So I'm gonna. I guess I could just dump him in at this point. Yeah. Twenty. As you slow, remember more right rudder. There you go. So I'm at flaps 20 currently. Should I go all the way? Yeah, go to 30. Film, and if he asks you to go to 40, say this airplane will not maintain level flight with right, 40 degrees right, flaps. Right, right. We are we're like floating in the air. Yeah. Man. Did not like that So how that do we control all. airspeed and how do we control altitude? Uh... Well, alt I guess we're in reverse command at this point, right? So altitude's going to be by powering. Okay, so what's happening to our altitude? Well, we're losing some, so I'm going to put a little more power in. Yeah. Feet on the heading. Just keep the wings level. Okay. Don't try to bank for headings. Okay. Just step on your right rudder to get it back to north. Okay. And just hold the wings level. Uh, just a little more. There you go. Nice. I don't like slow flight on days that are like this. It's all right. Makes you work for it. I don't like it. Yeah, very good. Now just use your foot like a like you're blocking a door. Just kind of stick it and hold it. Yeah. But we're still descending some. You're good on airspeed. All right. Now that we're establishing slow flight, give me a 180 degree turn to the left to south. What should you do with the power? Increase a little. A lot. Measure 100 feet. Okay. Go add more power. Wow. Get that nose up. Yes, the wind is shifting and gusting. So yeah. notice we turned into a headwind there, and the yeah, airspeed jumped right up. Yeah, I saw up. it. So, so since it's up, just pitch for your airspeed, and that'll give you that climb. Departure November two two X ray okay. Delta is a two thousand for four runway heading. November two two X ray Delta Clarksburg departure and radar contact Clarksburg two hundred two nine or nine or one. Turn right on course. Climb maintain six thousand. Keep it around ten degrees of bank, not too right steep. On course Looking and, outside. Uh, 6, 000, two, three, yeah. Right rudder to step on your what you're pointing at and look just go ahead and point the smokestacks all right just fly toward the stacks for a minute okay i know we've got a nasty canadian golf uniform member bravo go ahead so take a note of what power setting you have right now and what's holding yeah here. like 21 22 but look at your air air speeds 60 yeah, okay you're about right it's just 70 i mean it's just it's just bouncing big time from the wind yeah it's all right Looking good. So climbing just a fuss, so just reduce the power, maybe to 2,000. That little bit of reduction will. And Sirius 2 X ray Delta, just be advised, uh, about a 40 knot headwind in your direction was reported between uh, 6,000 and up. All right. 2 X ray Delta, copy Let's that. do a right turn now, back to west. Okay. Keep it about 10 degrees bank. Don't get too. Now remember, we're turning into the wind, so you're going to get increased performance. Right. So I'll, I'll pitch for that, right? Yep. So maybe reduce the power now. Yeah, we're climbing. Yeah. For the same given power and air speed. Yeah, because you said west. Yes, west. It's all right. We're talking. Let's work your way back to it. 
There you go. Good. All right. You can choose to do your stalls on a west heading, or you can choose to do it off of your waypoint, whichever you would want. Well, is, is there any preference? Like, should I try to do them into the wind? Eh, I mean, it'll it'll make things a little easier, but. Well, can I pick a point out here that is in the direction of the wind? Sure. Is that okay? I mean, yeah. is that acceptable? Try and pick something distant far enough that yeah. you will be able to see it. It's yeah. not underneath it. Yeah, either. I understand. So I'm turning right. Um, see the uh, see that the very uh, the opening with that one little teeny building, the shiny building in it up, yep. up ahead. Yep. That's what I'd like to point at if I could. All right. So work on getting your altitude back down to 35. Okay. That put me into a power off or approach to landing stop. Okay. Try to maintain your altitude. Keep it right at 35. Fight so. for it. Reduce your power. Remember to keep the wings level, feet on your point. Okay. Now, once you begin to initiate the stall, you really don't have to look at anything in here. Okay. Even during the recovery, you know where things are. So I want you to really focus on keeping the wings level by looking outside and just pointing the nose with your feet at that right there, what you're seeing. Okay. Just hold your foot, feet still. Get what you want and hold it there. Okay. See how it's kind of still to the right just a little bit. There you go. Right there. All right, reduce your power. Begin a 500 foot per minute descent for a couple seconds. Still moving towards your point. Power to idle. All right, bring the nose up to the horizon. Touch it just like you would on a VY climb and just point right at that spot. Keep those wings level. Shouldn't need much rudder. Hold it. Stall horn. Stall horn. Keep pulling back until yep. it breaks. Yeah, or mushes. Full back stick or a full stall. That's full back. No, it keeps coming. Keep pulling. Pull it. That's all, I mean. There okay, it is. Okay, there's the stall. Full power. Nose up to the horizon. Nose to the horizon. Carpeed in and flaps up to 20 immediately. Yep, get that nose up. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Oh, I see. Hold it right on the horizon. Right, right. Out. Departure November 26, right there. Delta. You go. I'm at. Uh, keep that nose right on the horizon. 1800. Yeah, yeah, I'm showing. Yeah. Positive rate. Right here. Yep. Next notch. That's good. Don't hold it for too long. Remember. Two X ray Delta, Roger. Good. All right. Positive rate. The VY. Two X ray Delta. It has been a while since the last ride report or so. uh, had one report down there. Uh, if you do want to try higher, that's pretty good uh, for amount of bumps and stuff. Just remember, once wow. you start that recovery, you don't want yeah, to look we'll at yeah, anything. It's all fairly smooth here, but uh, just below is a little bit back of up a to and, and correction on that, it's a 40 knot crossing wind, but it's uh, translating into a 30 knot headwind here at six. But yeah, eight will be great. Sure, all right. Delta, copy all climb, maintain eight thousand. Let's eight thousand. Do a power on stall now. So just while you're in the climb. Uh huh. Actually, reduce the power here at 35. Get us down to our rotation or as close as you can get to it without stalling. Should be able to get 60. It's right on the edge of stall. When you hit 60 at 3,500, I want you to apply full power and an excessive nose up. So beyond the VY. We don't do them in here with full power, do we? You can in this one, yeah. Do we it's want so, to? It's so weak, it'll just take longer. But I mean, can we do it at not full power? He might want to see a full power one. I We've mean, done non full power ones and they're pretty easy. You just got to remember to push the power in. It's going to pull that power on back. It's going to take quite a bit, about 1500 big full carburetor heat on while you're down this low. Yeah. There you go, wrestle it. Clarksburg citation six. Track there, traffic time is six foot off the northbound out of the three thousand, heading towards Lake Arthur. Citation six zero two Alpha Tango, Clarksburg approach. We're gonna tell him to do just two. If yep, you want full procedure, vectors on for the ILS one eight. Hold we'll take vectors for the ILS uh, one eight, and we're we'll level at sixty five hundred squawk at four one zero at this time. Here it comes. Citation go ahead and go tango. full power right now. Okay. Carburetor heat off and pitch the nose up excessively. I don't like to do that. Lots of right rudder. Lots and lots. So remember, use your little. I feel like I'm too much right rudder. Nope, you're right on. Look out your window down in the corner. Yeah, yeah, I don't see how it's not yeah, twisting. Yeah. That's what you should use. Let's keep the wings level. Right rudder, say how we're twisting. 
Right rudder more. Yep, need more nose up. There's a horn. Yeah, all right, look at, just keep looking at your reference. Yep, I'm looking out the left window here. Looking good, see how it's just going straight, you're not twisting. Yeah. Hold those wings level, don't fight it. Keep that nose and just pull back just a little more. We're in that headwind, so look at our yeah. ground speed. Yeah. All right. Yep. Keep, keep pulling, keep pulling, there uh, it is. Don't, don't Yeah, don't dive. dive. Yep, now start pitching back up. Ride the horn. There you go, right there. Just hold that. <laughs> I do not like it. Look, you didn't lose any altitude, though. Do not that's like a, it. Got to do it. Ah, uh, that's gonna be my least favorite part. <sighs> gonna be my Here's least the thing: part. the quicker you get into the stall, the quicker the maneuver's over. So if you can make that pitch up slightly steeper, that'll ensure that you stall. Now, obviously, with a reduced power setting that we had been doing in the past we could, it'll set in a little quicker. And that's one thing I would ask him before you start the maneuver, would you like to see full power or partial power? Because I've been trained to both. All right, let's make a, let's do a left turn back toward Fairmont. Do you want me to get back down to? Actually go to the smokestacks. 3,500 or? Sure, if you want to use that, we can stay at four, it's your choice. smokestacks. We'll probably get those stacks pretty quickly. So if you come to this practice area, uh -huh. take note of some of the landmarks around you and things that you can use for particular maneuvers yes, sir. later on. So think about some of the ground reference stuff we've got to do. In particularly one that requires a really long straight something. Yeah, I saw them underneath us, the power lines. Okay, so keep in mind where those are. They're just north of that wow. pond. Wow. Citation 12, Tango, turn 10 degrees right. Maintain you doing okay? You feeling sick? No. Okay. I just, uh, right, it's, like a, it's like a riding a bull. Yeah. Trying to fight it the whole time. Welcome to West Virginia in the summertime. I want to bring Carpeen in, okay? How come? Well, I don't know. We're getting close to that. Sure, if you want. I'm trying to get down to 3,500. Put the nose down. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, What'd you hit yeah. that pothole for? <laughs> you didn't see it coming? I couldn't swear. It's West Virginia. I couldn't avoid it. That's right. Wow. The skies are just as bad as the roads. It's just the winds today. The winds are yeah. pretty high. So they hit these little ridge lines and get shot up in the air. I really, I mean, in a perfect world would like to not do my check ride on a day like today well we'll get you an earliest as we can slot but you see it's 9 a.m and it's already I getting know. this way I know. all right level us off 35 and we'll do some steep turns oh these ought to be fun so remember before you start oh clearing turn yeah you don't have to but get in the habit I'm saying to yourself, we're still in the same area. So. Wow. When you're ready. Well, we want to do these at, uh, we've been doing them at 100. Yeah, that'll work. Tell him 100 mile an hour. 100 mile an 100 hour. 100 to 105. That's my ballpark for this. You'll not see any higher because it's so. All right. I guess I'm ready to attempt. Let me get, let me just get. Yeah, uh, get your altitude squared off. Get all. And use your smokestacks as your reference. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go a little weird and go right first. Can okay. I do that? Yeah. You You'll care. do whatever he specifies. Right. And, and this. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Sure, Keep an eye on me. Okay. Let's establish the bank. Six right delta. There it is. Forty-five. The, uh, wind is the pull. Not better. Split the horizon. You're, you're above the horizon on your side. So. Drive. Roger. Not too much rudder. Just a little less. Right there. Hold that nose on it. Watch that altitude. Now your eyes should just bounce between yep. out there. I'm bouncing out right man. here. I got a little shallow. Yep, a little more bank, a little more bank, a little more bank. If you're not feeling the G's in your butt, you're not steep yeah. enough. A little more bank. There it is. And he will call you out on that. He'll say you were only at 30 degrees of bank for about. I half rolled out turn. a little early, but I maintain most things. Let's go to your. Do I have to go right into it? Yep, just he he likes to see that. Okay, yeah. roll right into you it. Ready? Start keep keep those an eye on me. Okay, Set those G's in. You got it. Now just hold it right there. Look outside and split the horizon with the nose. Yeah. 
That's perfect. Wow, it's amazing when you look outside how much better it goes. I kept, I have my eyes inside way too much. I know, that's what I was trying This to feels much better to me. Look at you, you're not budging. Let's go back to the right now. Start right about now, roll it out swiftly. Wings level just for a second. Oh. And then to the right. He may say just go right into the right. If that's the case, do what you just did. All right, let did. me try to look outside again. Now your nose is, use this as your reference. Okay. To the horizon. I gotta be up a little more, yes. you think? Yes, yes. So There's that wind, you feel it? I know, I'm watching it. Wow. You can see it outside. Nose up. I see the difference. That feels just... Ooh, not too much bang. Dead. Hold it, hold it. Is hold that it. 45 about right there? Nope, that's 30. Okay. On more. Roll it out. Let's go back to the left. We'll just do two more sets. Okay. Level out for a second. Ready? Yep. Roll right into it. Pull as oh, you get yeah, to 30. I feel it. I feel it. 30 is when you should really start setting that back pressure Okay. In. Nose up. You can split the horizon. Citation 2 Alpha Tango, turn left, heading 270. Left, 270, 2 Alpha Tango. Losing a little airspeed. It's alright, it's just the wind. Eyes outside. Little bang. There you go. Roll it out, right there, right rudder, push the nose. Nice, and then back to the right. <coughs> Make this one as best you can get out of it. I'm gonna try, buddy. Lock it right there. Now let's take a picture of this angle between the nose. I'm trying. And the horizon. Nice. Not too much bank. How am I on bank right now? You're great. Nice, that's the best one you've done thus far. Hold it right there, just keep it locked in. Is that a uh, Canadian Fokker, Mike Nimmer, Bravo? Keep, keep it, keep it. Hold that bank. All right, Roger, thank you. And roll out, left rudder. Push the nose down. And then power back just a squid. Sirius 2 X-ray Delta contact. That's I felt good about those. You did really good on that okay. last set. So Let's get away from the power plant. Right, so I think a left was hit, uh, it's actually simulated engine failure. Okay, well, let's start looking for a spot. Um, ABCs. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, airspeed. Ah, uh -huh, there you go. And then. Uh, best landing spot. Best landing spot, and then. Commit. Co commit, and commu to it. commit. Communicate. Uh, ABCs. Right, I gotta get the nose over, because I am uh, slow. Well, what's some glide? It's 80. 80. 80. Um, so I haven't picked a spot. I'd probably go like, right at the big hill. Look underneath of you. I can't. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of big stuff over here. <laughs> Holy crap. All right. Ooh, hi. Hello. So I'd probably maneuver around out here. And how do you want to enter? Well, I want to enter. With it yeah, that's true. So this windy. So I'd have you better to turn around. Yeah. You better start turning now because you're going to start losing a lot of altitude as you turn. So keep the okay. G-forces and keep it at 90 and keep a steep bank because... The higher your bank angle, watch for towers. Yeah, you keep an eye out. I got one right here. I see it. I might not make that turn. You got it. Keep it constant. Look where you can go back here. See it? Yeah. I want to sketch you out. We're going to go pretty low. I keep that go bank low. going. Keep that bank going. I'm out your descent. So look at how quickly uh. you're descending. Yeah. Where are we going to, do you think? The, I don't know. the field can, or the pavement? Is that pavement? I would land on this slurry over here where those vehicles are. Okay. And approach. Uh, five, two, we'll be maneuvering down low for a minute. Keep turning to the right. Hold on. I'm, I gotta I get back, like to, back to 80. I wouldn't focus so much. You get it, but see now I'll go straight. Yeah. And now you're on a down or base. So yeah. I start working my flaps in and treat that as my runway. Do I have to do that? Yeah, go for it. I don't man. want to get that low with flaps and everything. <laughs> Citation to Alpha Tango. He's going to make you do it. Mile from Dixon, You're looking good. Turn left heading 200. I go ahead and just go around. Cleared ILS See, you so think I you could make power? that? Yeah, I could make that. Zero, zero, here. Yeah, go full power and hang a ride everywhere we're going. Wowza. Yeah, so that's what I yeah, would that's pick. nice. That's a big wide open space. And it's flat. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not going to be a baby with him. Well, yeah. I'm just going to do what he tells me. And said he's not going to tell you that stuff. I mean, if he doesn't simulate any fair, I'm just going to own it. I would, man. I would, that's perfect spot. That's like a 
<laughs> so as close as you're going to see to an improved surface. Uh huh. And it's wide, plenty of room to stop. You see heavy equipment on it, so you know it's weight bearing. Yeah, that's that's uh, good. All those are good points. That's stuff hey, I think about. Oh, uh, hey, I wanted to tell you something too. Yeah. Um, one thing the other day that I noticed <clears throat> that was actually a really good. Did you catch me? How did you see how slow I just got there for a second before I pushed the nose You're over? Good. I wanted you to do sixty. I, I, I was down to like, I was. <laughs> I was just, I looked over and the thing's bleeding off. It's like 70. Well, like, whoops. Um, we need a decline gradient. So, we're good now. When we had, when we lost our generator and came back to Fairmont, and you, uh, and I was like, let's put, we should put flaps in if we can. And you said, two no, let's not put flaps in. Um, tower one two, uh, because if we, if, we lo if we have to go around, we won't be, might not be able to get them back up. I thought that is a great lesson. Like that, yeah. I, that I won't forget that circumstance again. Yeah. Like where you could get stuck with flaps and yeah. not be able to climb. Yep. All right, let's stick around here at three for a second. Let's do some S turns. You find me somewhere to do them on. Okay. With any ground reference, and are on the downwind. Okay. At a thousand AGL, thousand to six hundred AGL. I say a thousand because we don't have much margin for error and time out here. Yeah. So I use the most conservative they'll let me. So looking at our, we want the wind to flow perpendicular with our S turn point. So I always oh. think of them as being a T. So the wind is flowing from there. Right. So we need to start from over here. That's right. And come out of this way. All right. So we'll maneuver over to this side. What's your uh, elevation figures out through here? So you got 1660. So they or 1700. So add a thousand. 27-ish. Okay. Don't work your sprinkle, way down to yeah, 27. I'm going to sprinkle car heat in just for a minute on okay, the way yeah. down. And be set up before you cross. So be thinking. You've got a gnarly tailwind today. These yeah. are going to be fun. They're going to be difficult. Especially once we get lower, it's going to start getting a little bumpier. Things to think about. Our initial turn has got to be steep, like thin, because okay. your bank is based off of your ground speed. So the higher your ground speed, the higher your bank. Right, I understand. You know what the goal of these are, like the outcome for each turn, what you should see? Like if you were to look at it after the fact, what well, it yeah. should look like? Yeah. Well, I mean, that they, that you're that you're perpendicular every time you cross, you're rolling out perfectly, and that yes. they're equal, yes. they're equal U's. Yeah. You know, like it's an equal uh, U on each side. Is that what, a, is right. that what you're asking me yeah. for? And, you know, plus or minus 100 feet, all that stuff. So whatever altitude you choose to start at, okay. you got to make sure it's at that 1,000 foot mark, and it will be. All right. Um, how much? How far do you think we should go to give ourselves room? Well, you've got a you're going to have a nice tailwind on the way back, so you're going to cover a lot of ground a lot quicker yeah. than what we are right now. Now the trick is not to lose your point. Yeah. Because now they're getting down to the valley. Yeah. But you've got them on your map. See them right here. Yep. So you can go ahead and start turning back now. All right. Let me bring a little power back in. Um. Cause we're kind of at 2700, a little below now. Lord. Like everything is a fight. Yep. The way I like it. Not me. I mean, I don't mind it just being out in it, but I don't want to necessarily do it for my check ride, for God's sakes. Oh, come on. Unless he'll be way more lenient. He will, he will give you... All right, let me see here. Leeway. I've lost the point. Well, just keep flying straight, because look at your map. You're pretty well perpendicular. We see our pond. Yeah, we I do. remember they it pretty much rain. Yeah. You'll see it once we get on it. That's the problem with West Virginia, man. There's just no... Nothing. Nope, nope, nope. There it is. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, so I guess this is it, huh? 
This is it. Already lost 50 feet. Not even in the maneuver yet. Okay. So is this it? Okay, we're over. Yes. We're good, about to cross over right now. This is it. Little power. Yeah. I Remember, see you got a tailwind. On it. Okay. Now, uh, <laughs> I don't know when to turn. Now, oh when you're God. on it, look at it. Look out there. Yeah. You bounce back and forth, and just put your wing right on the point. Okay. No greater than 45 degrees of bank. Yeah. Little now, as your ground speed is decreasing, start slowly taking the bank out. You. If you keep the wing on the point, it will perfectly. Okay. So keep raising it. I see. And now we're about to be perpendicular here. And Wings level, good. You got one, two, three. That's pretty good to the right. As soon as you cross, roll right into it. Cool. Now this side is low ground speed, it's low bank. Oh. See how far you're already ahead of it? Oh yeah. So look. keep the nose down, don't climb. Real slow and through this point. We've okay. already kind of jumped into it a little fast. We'll do a couple more. Go ahead and roll into it now. You should catch back up with it. We've gotten further enough. Actually, can you take the airplane for a minute? Yeah. I need a drink of water. <laughs> My mouth is so Crown. I'll practice mine. I also first. didn't eat breakfast this morning. Yeah. I'm feeling a little queasy. Okay. You want my cheese? No. Look at that. I'm going to drink some water for a minute. You care if I keep doing these? No, go for it. Totally fine. Remember, you don't have to be maneuvering speed on this. Fox, just Mike, pick an Bravo, airspeed. Bravo traffic, 12 o'clock, 5 miles, type unknown, altitude unknown, appears south, southeast bound. All right, here we go. Here's how I would do this side. See how low my bank is? Because my ground speed's slowest now. Now, as I get on the back side of this wind, I want to start increasing it pretty dramatically right about now. I'll let it roll right in. I should be up to about a 45 or so, 30 to 45. Nice. I'm just going to set you back up on the other side while you continue to drink. Are you still Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I'm going to be fine. Don't puke on me. I will not. I got puke bags if you I need them. I will not puke on you. We will slow it down so we don't have to. Canadian Fox, Mike November Bravo. The traffic now is at your 11 to 12 o'clock in three miles, still south southeast bound. Whenever you're ready, I'm just kind of playing around. Yeah. <laughs> just don't fight it. Let it happen. Become one with the turbulence. Mr. Miyagi. Okay. All right. I'm back. My you're back. airplane. I would add some power and take the car beat off. I was just trying to. Appears to be south southwest, south southeast bound still, and uh, type and intensity, uh, correction, type and altitude unknown. Hey. Anyway. Okay. All right, let's, let's do a see. 180. I see our points. So. Where are you at now? Our point is directly behind us. Yes. So I'm going to flip around. Right, to the club. Put that now. nose down. Yeah, keep it kind of steep because you're coming up on them pretty quickly. Okay. There you go. Kelly Fox, Mike, November Bravo, traffic no factor. 
Oh uh, boy. You're right. Roll it out. 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 Oi. Uh -huh. That one got me a little bit. <laughs> Alright, we're we're fast and high and all kinds That's of things. That's alright. Just push your nose down. Do the 28 then. Okay. Look at your point. You're a little crooked. Roll, look at your point. Yep. Roll right into it. Are we and going that, left? Put that power back up. Yeah, start on your side. Oh, Please. way. A little okay. power? Yeah. The wing is already behind it. Well, I'll just pick it up more. Make it touch it. <laughs> <laughs> that seems reasonable. All right, 28. So I'm diving a little here. It's all right. Woo! That could Crazy. be our wake from earlier. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Could it still with all this wind, you think? Probably not, but, you know. Just making an excuse. Yeah, <laughs> for the wind. Yeah. Well, see, the other problem with this straight line is that it curves right here. Yeah. So I'm going to be level earlier, but that's because the, the it changed. Yeah. Also diving a little. Okay, so let's just try this, okay? So I got to go nice and shallow here. For the first, first half, yeah. So this side you will. A little power. I still think you're using too much, honestly. Too much For bank? the first half, yeah. Oh, well. Don't All right, now start working your way into it as you go to that 90 degree point. Okay. Look at your point, keep it right on it. You're going to have to hold it to it like glue because otherwise we'll shoot right through it. I see. And then kind of not snap roll. Yeah, about now. Snap it out. Perfect. Back to the left. Wow. Yeah, riding the cow. I just want to be careful. I mean, none of these are high load maneuvers, so. Nah, we're good. There's just a lot of turbulence and stuff happening too, you know what I mean? 3.8 Gs, you've never felt 3.8 Gs. That's okay. what it's certified to. And these have a utility, so they go up to 4.4. Yeah, we're heavy though. Oh boy. That was good. Oh, not bad. Wanna go to the right again? Sure, one more. One more, so this, you say easy here. Easy, easy. you're already like, jumping the gun. Easy, easy Especially killer. with this heavy of a wind, you will have to be. Yeah, I see. It's all about how your lateral distance is. Yeah. So go ahead and now start creeping into it. Creep, like a creeper. But now as you hit that 90 degree point, really jump into it. I lost my lines. There that's they right are. right here. All right, start creep, jumping yeah, into that, it Because that's the, that's the 90, right? Because now we're going to get start pushed hard by the wind back into them. There you go. Start pitch up, pitch up, pitch up, pitch up. And... Right about here. Uh, look down through there a little more, a little more, I mean, little more. right? Yeah. There. Lost about 100 feet, but you're getting thrown around like a rag doll, so that's okay. Yes, it is fairly, fairly All ragged. Right. Do you want to do a turnabout a point? Um, yeah. Or do you want to hold off on that? Oh, I don't care. They got one cell tower right underneath of us here, so if you get a traffic or a terrain, we're, okay. we're clear of it, but. Okay. It's up to you. We can do it on the next one, or we can do it now. And not do this one on the next one. Just kind of do one at the Yeah, let's reference. do that. Okay. Uh, so, where are we here? We're out over Farmington? Mononga? No, Mononga. Uh, Mannington? Do we climb some, you think? Uh, sure. Give us a little more... Uh, yes, it's Mannington. A little, little more margin? Yeah. Where do you want to do your landings? Clarksburg? Clarksburg, okay. definitely. Let's head that way then. If I would have known that, I wouldn't have let us get like 18 miles up, up the holler. Gotta give you time to get set up though for the helmet. On yep. this first one, we'll do a slip, slipped landing. Okay. Unless you just want to try a normal landing first to get a feel for it. Right, let's do that. Okay. So a normal landing to get a feel for it. Um, 353 Zulu observation, wind 25010, gusts 16, visibility 10, sky condition clear, temperature 12, 2.01, altimeter 2990. Expect visual approach runway 21, notice two airmen, multiple tower obstruction lights out of service in the vicinity of Clarksburg Airport, nice. use caution. Hazardous weather information for West Virginia, Love surrounding off states here. available from high watch or flight service frequencies, advised. You can lean it out, save you some gas. We've been running full rich for a while. 
Yeah. Clark for Tampa Franks and Whiskey, 1353 Zulu Observation, wind 25010, gusts 16, visibility 10, sky condition well, clear, fine. temperature 12, dew point you 0, one, altimeter 2, 9 or 9 Good nine day to zero. practice crosswind landings. Expect visual approach runway 21, notice 2 air yeah. multiple tire obstruction lights out of service like in the that. beginning of Clark's Brigade. Clarksburg approach, Scott Gray, 52 Lima. We have uh, whiskey at Clarksburg. We'd like to uh, head inbound for some pattern work. Clarksburg 352 Lima, Roger. Clarksburg Airport, 12 o'clock, uh, 8 miles. We have the field in sight, uh, 52 Lima. Clarksburg 352 Lima, contact tower 126.7. 267, 352 Lima. They know where we are, or do we have to tell them? I'd always tell them. They have radar, but just be able to tell so them. So we're, uh, I don't know how far we are. Eight. She said eight. Eight so north. So call it seven. Seven, seven to the north. Worksburg Tower, Skyhawk 385, two Lima's, uh, seven miles north, 3,500 inbound for uh, touch and go for the option. 385, two Lima, Clarksburg Tower, runway two one, cleared for the option. One of your intentions on the go. Stay in the pattern. Uh, we're going to stay in the pattern, uh, clear for the option, 5-2 Lima. 5-2 Lima, roger on the go, make left close traffic. Okay, we'll make left traffic, 5-2 Lima. Alright, so this is up to you to set us up for a normal landing. Alright, so we... Consider the wind. Yeah. With that being known, do what you think is necessary to make a normal landing. Well, I'm going to land with as little flaps as I need. Yeah, with uh, it 15 in the 15 ballpark 20 is what I go to any more than 15 10 okay. any more than 20 I'll go to none I'll just do a flat up but it's not a full 15 knot crosswind right that's right so what should you do with that gust factor is it so the gust factor is what five knots? six six knots yeah six so I'll take half of that and add it to my approach speed. Okay. So instead of 75, it'll be 78. I'll just be 80. Yeah, that'll help. If I see the field. I just, uh, I just like to be. Yeah, he's gonna want you in the way you fly so far down. So just cut. is he gonna want me to be in closer? Yeah. He likes a tighter pattern as well. Okay. Which we fly fairly tight patterns enough to make a base. The guy flew the Navy guy. It was like wingtip on top of the airport and just a continuous turn. Uh, I, I love it. Oh, it was. I the mean, best. I ultimately will too. I just am not at a place where that's something I can even. Well, when has being in a continuous turning descent been worse than constantly having to level the wings and all that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. He was configured for landing at the beam point and just ride down full flaps gear. Does that make sense? Oh yeah. It was awesome. I think it's more stable, honestly. But. Right, I'm going to get under 100 here and bring in first notch. Yeah, you've got a lot of time before the runway, so. Roger. Yeah, you can get set up out here. You're just going to drag to the airport. So, it's up. Completely up to you. You're not doing anything wrong. I'm just giving a little insight. Okay. Oh, yeah. So once we get over here, we're going to obviously be crabbed into this once we're lined up. Right. Yeah, for now you'll crab. Right on glad path. Maybe run a before landing checklist. Right. One item and fly the airplane. One yeah. item and fly the airplane. Seatbelt secured, fuel selector is on both, car beats on, mixture is full rich, because we've never went out of that airspeed 70 to 80, flaps is desired. All right. Poor landing checklist complete. All right. 
Be ready to help me here, okay? You're ready. You got this. Little power. That's all I would do. Add that power in. See how we're below glide path now? Yeah, yeah I do. Yep, I would add more. And hold the nose up. Just level off here for a minute because we're pretty low. That's why I don't like to drag myself in because yeah. now I'm way low out here. I get you. I get it. I understand. What do you think? You want to be able to do a flaps 20 or you want to stick with the 10? Oh, we can go for 20. Okay. I would wait a little longer, treat it as where I would put my flaps 30 in. Because I'm also fast, so I'm at 90. Yeah, so get that nose up a little bit. Get back on that glide path. There you go. That'll help get that airspeed down. Trim for it. Make it's sure pretty. I mean, okay. it's pretty. So, yeah. Crabbing just like you're doing. Wow. You're doing good. I'm going to bring in 20 now, you think? Wait a little longer. Okay. Wait till you're over the infield. So. Wow. Go ahead and start getting it slowed down some. Get her toward 90 to 85. 80 is going to be your ref speed. Okay. Little power, little power. All right, now I'll start putting my 20 in. Good. So what kind of inputs are you going to put in as we flare? I'm going to have right rudder left, I mean right right aileron left rudder. Okay. Keep me as close as you can to that center line with your ailerons. Feet, just square the nose up. Go ahead and start squaring the nose up now. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Leave the power uh, in just for a second. Okay. And now just fight yourself over to the right with aileron. Power to idle. Help me, okay. You're good. Uh, you got this. Power to idle. Right aileron. As you slow, you're all right. Hold it. Hold it. One wheel. Just let it settle. Go back over to the right. One. Two, three. Okay. Hold this all the way in. Yeah. Flaps oh, okay. and carpet. And just drive the airplane. We got enough time here. Oh, yeah, obviously. plenty. Flaps are up. Carpet's in. You ready? Ready. Normal take. Start taking it out. And just hold it right there. Lots of right rudders. Yeah. You rotate off. Perfect. See how that looks? Yeah. Now transition to a crab. Some more right rudder. Into the wind. I see. There you go. I just nice aileron to keep you over the center line. Wow. Um, I think for the sake of not wasting time and me feeling bad, I think I want to go back to Fairmont at this point. Okay. I don't know how much useful the rest of this is going to be for me if I'm not feeling great. And uh, tower three five two Lima, we're gonna we're actually gonna depart the uh, part the pattern to the north here off the downwind. Just five two Lima, Roger. Uh, make a uh, make a right downwind departure. Awesome, right downwind for three five two Lima. I love this house right here. Which one's that, buddy? Oh yeah. Keep dreaming, Alice. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I... You're good. I just wanted to make sure that you weren't feeling like no, no, unsafe no. because of the winds no, or something I'm not. like that. No, I'm Because this is... Okay. No. That's all I wanted to make sure. We're at 1.12. 1 1.2. 1 so by the time we get back, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Well, we'll do a short field takeoff or landing to couple with our short field takeoff that we have. There you go. So we'll work on those again next time. But All right, five two Lima, Roger. Uh, frequency change approved. I do show uh, one uh, archer there entering into uh, what appears to be about a uh, oh about a three mile right base for the uh, for the northbound runway and. Uh, Frequency change approved. Have a good day. All right, just saying. All right, change approved. Uh, have a good one. Three, five, two, Lima. He's probably crossing over midfield. Yeah, I was gonna say. It's probably from his view. It looks like a three-mile right base. I see. Or that's from over here. So go ahead and key up. So we can hear. Yeah, that's good.
Jacko, 5 northwest, the crossing midfield for left downwind 2 2, Jackson County, full stop. Go ahead, call Fairmont. Tell them you're 8 to the south. Fairmont traffic, Skyhawk 3852 Lima is uh, 2,708 miles to the south. We're going to be entering a left downwind runway 23, Fairmont traffic. Old Fairmont traffic, it's the Archer that was on the radio earlier from uh, <laughs> from Canada, eh? Yeah. He said he's on three miles. Entering a right base, but... There's all kind of things wrong with that. Well, yeah, he's just, he's just calling the way he sees it on the radar, but... But he's over here. But this guy's not said anything yet. Keep watching. You don't have him on ADSB, do you? No. All right, let's pull it back. Let's just slow down, and we'll see if we can just spot him here. Stay above pattern. That way, we don't go bumping into each other. Start looking closer to the airport because he's probably Should we call again? Yeah, give him another call so you're five miles out. Fairmont traffic, Skyhawk 3852 Lima now five south of the field, gonna enter a uh, left downwind runway two three Fairmont traffic. I wish I knew where he was. Call Clarksburg back and ask. Are you there? Yeah, Parkman. Two threes, what you want? Benny, are you there? Yeah, I'm parking it. Two threes, what you want? Okay, you're on the ground? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll be, uh, I'm just coming up now. Uh, turn final on two three, but real high. Uh, you have another aircraft in the pattern, look for him. Roger, we'll do. Alright, he's on final, so he probably could, he may go around, so just kind of give him space. Real high on the final, he said. So should we, what should we do in this case? Just continue, I mean, he's on final. I mean, work our way down the pattern out. Yeah, this. just go ahead and join the left downwind, so you're joining, you're a mile, and I would say two miles to the south, joining the left downwind now, descending. Out of 27. Okay. And Fairmont traffic, Skyhawk 3852 Lima now, uh, two miles south, descending out of 2600, entering a left downwind runway 23, Fairmont traffic. Fairmont. Roger, Fairmont traffic, this is the Comanche 06 Papa, just uh, to the northwest of the field, and we'll be staying high until I find you and uh, get you on the field. But keep me posted. Roger, we'll uh, keep you posted for 5-2 Lima. We're uh, pretty much joining the left downwind right about now for 2-3. Okay, I'm approaching from the north. Do you see the Walmart to the south of the airfield? Sir leveling off. Hey, my traffic, uh, Comanche is traffic is uh, 4,000 foot to the northwest side. All right, your power in. And Fairmont traffic, Skyhawk 3852 Lima's on the left downwind, uh, 2,000 feet for uh, runway 23. Fairmont. I don't see him. He's somewhere up through there, though. 4,000 feet. He's going to be pretty high. He's not giving me a distance, so it's hard to gauge how close yeah. to look. The northwest side. The heck? That's over there. Link is in the way. Roger, 
Ross Draper traffic, Archer 8373, Charlie, we're about uh, four miles to the I'll see the radios west. if you just want to. Inbound for landing or Ross Draper. Bring it in land or vice versa. Uh, why don't you land us? You sure? Yeah, will you just do it? Yeah. You got the airplane? I got the airplane. Want me a call for you? Yeah. Just go ahead and tell them we're turning left base for 23. Fairmont traffic, Sky 352 Lima now turning left base, runway 23, Fairmont. I get to land. Going better? And yeah, Fairmont a little. Traffic, Command she 06 poppers, crosswind for runway 21. There's no 21, but that's cool. Base down at Clarksburg. <laughs> You probably don't need me calling airspeeds for you, do you? I mean, if you really want to. Trust your ability to uh, land this without my assistance from either seat. Ouch. That was a good one. Like a stiff one. Yep. Yeah, Fairmont traffic 3852 Lima now turning final 23, Fairmont. 85. Thanks, Jay. Er. <laughs> Ma'am on traffic, Comanche 06 Poppers turning downwind, runway 21. There is no 21, but that's cool. I you, still don't see you, You're such guy. a pro. 80. 70. 60. Is it that low? It dropped, it just fell out. It's all right, it's flying. Oh, come on. One, two. We won't need fuel either. Oh, should we get? Good looking old bow. The oh, yeah. S or a V model. Might be a little earlier. Got the radios? Yep. Fairmont traffic. Skyhawk 3852 Lima clear runway 23 Fairmont. FMR traffic. Uh, Piper 06 Papa's base leg runway 21. Do not see him. He's landing at Clarksburg. Do you think he is? Oh my gosh. Well, if he is, he's not talking to him. Oh, God. Hey, Comanche, make sure that you're not at the Clarksburg Airport. If it looks like it's an 8,000-foot runway, that may be the wrong one, because we have a runway 23 at Fairmont, not runway 21. So, uh, what, what direction is the airport from here? It'll be north of there. You'll probably want to contact their tower, 126.7, and let them know. 